Uh, my name is Matt Walter. I am from Wilsonville, Oregon. Uh, it's like a little town about 15 minutes outside of Portland. And uh, I am here tonight to go on a date with Ashley on The Bachelorette. I just recently in April graduated uh, from BYU with a degree in accounting. And uh, with that, I got a job in Orange County. So I'm headed down to uh, Irvine in the fall and I'm gonna work at an accounting firm. So I'm very excited. Yeah, so I road tripped from, I'm still at, uh, up in Provo for the summer. I'm with my brother uh, living there. And uh, we road tripped down here together and uh, made the trip yesterday. Got in last night and I'm staying with a friend, so. I don't know a ton about Ashley. I have breezed over the blog, so I have looked at it for a few minutes, but I um, am excited to get to know her on the date. So, see how it goes. We're headed to uh, Famous Dave's Barbecue. I heard they have some really good barbecue food there, and I love barbecue food, and uh, hopefully she does too. And uh, then we're gonna head to Tempe Town Lakes, so you can go rent some paddle boats down there, and uh, we're gonna go paddle boating, so we'll see how that goes. I don't hope that the boat tips, but I wanna keep things interesting, so we'll see what happens. I rolled in last night and uh, it was like 97 degrees. Um, I'm used to it being a little cooler, so this is definitely bringing the heat for me. Hello. Hello. What's going on, Ashley? I'm hi, Ashley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Matt. Nice. Very nice. You look very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you ready to roll? Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Who's a girl with the bright eyes? Who's a boy she's sitting by? Are they just friends? Why is she so nice to me? Why does she light up the room when she smiles? Till I can't see, clearly it must be. Love, if you mean so much, when I barely even know you, but I hope that our hands might touch. Now, so my brother's here. He came down with me, and uh, we were driving yesterday, and uh, we hit the Hoover Dam. Okay. And uh, I had two bars left. I actually have two bars again right now. Maybe we should go get gas. <laughs> <laughs> but I had two bars, and I was like, oh, we're fine. Like, there was a Chevron, and I was like, no big deal. Once we get past the Hoover Dam, we'll stop. So, turns out that past the Hoover Dam, there's just deserty nothingness nothing. for a long time. Oh, no. you know? So, it runs out. We coast to a stop. We're about two miles from a gas station, so we're like oh, no. walking in the desert aimlessly. <laughs> and then in I, the hot desert. Yeah, I, get, like, I get, like pissed off, so I start like hitchhiking because I just don't. I'm like I'm not walking anymore. <laughs> oh my god! So this like Indian ponytail guy stops uh -huh. and uh, gives us a ride. Were Super, you scared? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you ever hitchhiked before? No, uh, I have a couple times, but it had been a while, so mm -hmm. a little scared to get in the car. Turned out to be a super nice guy. Drove us to the gas station. They like gave us a tank, gave us a ride back. We filled up like my Prius, and then we kept going. Oh so, goodness yeah. gracious! It worked out. It just was a little detour. It it, deny it. I'll fight it. Deny it. I won't let myself fall in love.
strap you up in my yeah. Arm. So I heard because it happened early. Yeah, early in the morning because yeah. it was because it was morning in like New York, so it was really early coming back to like our time. Yeah. So I remember I like would wake up to the radio by in high school. Did you really? Yeah. We're still getting all educated. I know it's a good little you know talk shows whatever, but. I remember, like, the alarm went off, and uh, it went off, like, I think it went off early on accident. Like, I think I said it wrong, and, like, and I remember it, it was on, and, like, it didn't wake me up at first. And then I, like, have you ever been just kind of, like, half awake, half asleep? Mm-hmm. Like, I thought I was having a dream that a plane was crashing, but it was just it's me based, listening to the based radio. On the audio, yeah. Yeah, because they're like, oh, it's just saying, like, a plane's crashed, but, like, I wasn't awake all the way, so I didn't, like, quite remember it at first. Mm-hmm. So it was weird, like, I was asleep half awake heard that and then fell back asleep and i woke up and then like i got to school and then they sh- they showed it on i think i was in band and they showed it on tv mm-hmm. and i was like oh like i think i had a dream but then i was like oh like it no, was the, it was really the radio so like i heard it and then like when i went to class i was like oh like this is real yeah. and so it was kind of weird because at first i thought it was just like a dream but then it, i was just listening to like the news on the radio you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so it's kind of like holy crap yeah. But yeah, no, I remember, and then we just watched it like the entire day. Oh, look, red, white, and blue. Yeah. How perfectly fitting is we're God talking about patriotic stuff. God bless America. I made mistakes and I know that I will again. I always get back up. I've tried my hardest and of course I will again. I promise I won't ever give up. Your demand